everybody, it's uh, Tanya at Dark Moon Papery here. Um, I just thought I'd uh, show you a little bit of my tag making process um, this morning. Um, it's a nice fine morning here in the UK. Um, I'm not quite ready to start work. Um, so I thought I'd uh, have a bit of creative play first before I actually start started my day job so I thought I'd make some tags for my um, new journal that I've that I've been working on so these these tags will be going in in this journal here um, I often start out mainly with the tags and journal cards and accessories first when I'm making a journal um, and then I move on to creating the actual pages that that these accessories kind of things will will go on so so what have I got today I've got um a bunch of old photographs um they're quite battered and, and worn which I love that I mean this this one's all bent on the corners but um uh, bits missing but I love that I love that um and she's so sweet, this little girl. So I'm definitely going to be using her. Pop her to one side. And then there's lots of other small photographs. Very kind of time-worn. I love this one. It's got some um, kind of number on it at the, at the top and bottom. So I, re I really like that. This little chap's quite serious. And I love these two here. I think maybe they're sisters. I don't know. And this is this is a sweet one. Looks like a, um, a little girl with maybe a granddad or I don't know. Um. So yeah, just picked out this sort of bunch. The ones that I got recently. In fact, there's. There's two of this one. I think this one's quite sweet. I might, I might use that one actually. Pop that to one side. Um, these these are a little bit too big to to use for the tags, but I really like this lady here. She looks fabulous, and I love this um, wedding photo. But I'm not going to chop that up. <laughs> that I think will will go in the journal. As it is. In fact, I'll pop that in there now. And then there's these chaps here. Um, again, I'm not going to use this today, but I do like that photo. So we'll pop the bigger photos to one side. So what else have I got? I've got some gorgeous vintage wallpaper that I got from Jacks at Rural, Rural Retro. You can find her on Instagram at Rural Retro. Um, but I'll I'll try and remember to put the links in the um, in the comments. So I love this pattern. It's hand blocked wallpaper. It has a lovely chalky feel to it. It's I just love vintage wallpapers, and I really love this band across the top where they've. Um, so th this is where they actually line up the blocks for printing. I love that and also the um, colour scheme they do the colour scheme on there so I love that um, and then I've I've already done some texture paste on these uh, French book pages which I really love love how that's turned out so I've literally just used um, um, a modelling paste, this is a PBO one, um, and just use that through a stencil. So that's kind of going to be the top of the tag, I think. And then just some bits of music. Um, I do like to put music on my tags and odd bits of um, chopped off if any more. <laughs> So just scraps left over. So that's what I'm going to use. 
And then for my base, I'm actually using a linen effect card. I don't know. I don't know whether you'll be able to see the texture on that. It's kind of like a pale peach colour, which I think goes well with the tones of the of the journal. Um, and I'll leave the linen effect side to write on, and I'll be just using the the plain side. So, um, what else have I got? And I've also got my um, I've also got lots of lace scraps in here, vintage laces and and stuff. And I also I also want to use some of this. Um, I bought I think a yard of this. It's really wide. Um, absolutely lovely. And although it's modern, it goes really really well with all the vintage stuff. So. So I'll be using some of that for sure. So I'll pop that to one side because I don't need it right now. So, um, first of all, I'm going to get these stuck down on here. I've cut them um, to size pretty much just for, just for speed for today. So, let's move everything out of the way. something for gluing on so I'm just going to glue these down and I'm just using um, normal prick stick so I'll just disappear off camera while I just glue the backs of these pieces So I hope you're all well. I hope you've all had a good weekend. Um, I had a very good weekend actually. Did lots of um, dancing with the troupe that I danced with in, in the park. We had gorgeous weather and it was really nice to do our dance practice out in the park because, of course, with COVID restrictions, um, we can't actually all dance inside here in the UK. Hopefully the time will come pretty soon when we can all do that. Right, so we just slide that over there. It's just hanging over a bit on that side, but that's fine. So that's glued on there. chop that off there. If you've been watching my Instagram you'll know that I'm very fond of making tags with photos on. I just love how the elements work together. Um, now I don't want these to be overly big and I also don't want to use <laughs> like loads loads of this although I don't know I could I guess. I could. It would. It would take up nearly a whole sheet of the of the vintage wallpaper. Do any of you do this? Like, oh, how can I hang on to my supplies of these lovely things? We might just go for it. We might just use the whole thing. Wow, that's really decadent. That'd be really decadent. But do you know what? We might just do it. We might just do it because then I can cut um, other bits out. Oh, 
Come on, Tanya, we'll go for it. Because you just can't hang on to all these supplies forever, can you, really? Because you, you just end up with so much stuff. I'm just going to trim that off a bit straighter. Just to lose those edges. Or shall I, shall I ruler it? Shall I? Yes, I'll ruler it. Sorry, I know I'm faffing. Right. Here goes. Now I'm not actually using my best ruler for this kind of thing. But I don't know where the other ruler has disappeared to. Oh, that tear's quite nice. Look at that. Right, so we've got a nice rough edge there. I am trying to be a bit more um, relaxed about rough edges and things. When when I first started all this, I, I wasn't very relaxed about it. But one thing I'm not overly keen on is white edges. So all I'm doing is just darkening that down a bit. It's just my personal preference. I, I, and it's just for my own work. You know, I love everybody else's work that's... Got torn edges and white edges and all kinds of other things, but I'm just I'm just not a big big fan of it for mine. Now I'm gonna leave a little gap there because I think what I'm gonna do is stick a piece of music along there. So we'll best deal with the music first. I'm just going to tear that strip like that. And yes, you guessed it, darken the edges. I also think it, it makes it stand out as an element against other sort of similar colour backgrounds but as I say this this is really just my personal preference there we go so that's gonna sit along there so let's offer that up and see how that looks Yeah, that's going to work nicely. I like that. And in fact, I'm <laughs> losing that darkened edge. But maybe we might just move that. We'll stick this on first, I think. So, yeah, it's, it's been lovely this weekend to be back dancing in the park. For those of you who don't know a lot about me, um. I I dance with a troupe of dancers and we, we dance um, at festivals and fairs, usually always outside at sort of um, at various sort of folk festivals. Um, we just we just have such a such a good time, and really miss the dancing with all the um, COVID restrictions because obviously we've not been able to get together to practice, um, and of course there've been no events to dance at. But now that the restrictions have lifted somewhat, it means we're able to get together in the park at least and and dance 
and it's it's just been so lovely dancing out in the fresh air again i've really really been loving it right so then that is going to go on there like so right so you don't need to watch me gluing this so I'm, I'm just gonna i'm just gonna pause a little while while i get this glued to the page okay so we're back and um i've now glued that on there um so th this is this is going to be my base and then there's going to be photos on there and um, bits of bits of fabric so first of all what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down into size. Um, I'm really liking large tags at the moment. So they are going to be quite big. They're going to be... Oh, about... Six inches, I think, for the, for the long ones. And then this lower part, I might just make into a couple of smaller um, journal cards like that so let's get the cutter so let's let's see maybe maybe five and a half inches what would that look like yeah that's not too bad or maybe five and three quarters Right, we'll go for five and three quarters. That's not liking that. I think because the glue's still a bit wet. So it's not really liked cutting through that glue, but hey, you know, rough edges, rough edges, rough edges are okay. That's fine. So yeah, so I'm, I'm liking that size. That's that's going to be, that's going to be a nice size, um, for photos and stuff. So that's that's that section. And then this. I think I'll make into um, two cards, maybe one that way, and then a, a larger, a larger card there. I think I'm just going to let this dry a little bit before I attempt cutting it again. In fact, <laughs> I think I might be sneaky and cut it off camera so that you can't see if I made a total mess of it or not. Okay. Okay, so it's become apparent that my paper trimmer really doesn't like this particular hand blocked wallpaper, so it's been a bit precarious cutting them, and we've we've got a, we've got some little gnarly edges, um, where it hasn't wanted to cut through, and where it's kind of like stripped the paper off the back, but we're not going to worry about that because this this can all be sorted. Um, I also just cut a little bit off this edge here because there was a lot of white space so we've now got five five cards so a couple of smaller ones with the gnarly edges and then and then these and I, I really love this one really love that one so now we just need to um figure out some some embellishments for them i'm just going to move that out of the way because it seems to be taking up light right so so one of the photos that i really wanted to use was this one um and i'm thinking she may work well on here 
The only thing is, she's covering a lot of space. So I can't decide whether to trim her down, but I, I kind of really don't want to, to trim it down. So, no, I think we're going to leave it like that. Because it's not actually, you know, it's covering up a lot of white there. So, yeah, we'll, we'll leave her like that. Okay, so let's do her first. So I'm just using Fabri-Tac glue, my favourite glue. Or I would if it hadn't got stuck. Yeah, so just pop some glue on the back. I love this because this glue adheres so fast. I think I could become um, an ambassador for Beacon and uh, promote their glue. Right, so I'm just going to... that there. Oh yes, I'm liking that. I just love how the photos work with the wallpaper and the um, vintage book page. Love that. Right, so that's one. Um, now this one's a bit plainer, so we need one for that. I'm thinking I quite like this lady here. So yes, I think we'll we'll put her there. I think normally it takes me way way longer to make tags because I procrastinate too much and think oh shall I put this there shall I put that there and then before I know it it's like two hours later and I've I've made a couple of tags as I have said before in my other videos I am not the world's fastest craft Yep, yeah, liking that. Right, so we've got three left. Let's have a look at this little pile of photos. I do love these little girls here. Now, that might work quite well. I like the flowers around the photo um, along with this. That one's a bit too big. I quite like it on that, but I want more of that rose showing. So we'll we'll discount that. So this one's a possibility. And I quite like these sisters here. Maybe that one there, that one there, and maybe maybe the sisters there.
Hmm. So I could make two very similar. Um, because they're not, they won't all be going in the same journal. I do like that. Or shall we go for a slightly larger photo? We'll go for the slightly larger one, I think. Sorry, I'm procrastinating again, aren't I? I'm procrastinating. So, so what are you guys up to this summer? Are there restrictions still very much in force where you are? Have you got any travel planned? I, I don't know. Everything's uh, so up in the air. Not being able to travel and things like that. We had hoped to go to Vienna this year, but that's just not panning out. Oh yeah, I like that. Look at that, that's nice. I'm really liking this group of three and these will definitely be going in this journal. Really pleased with those. They look good even without any other embellishment on. So I'm, I'm pleased with how those three have turned out. We just need to sort something with these here. And I'm thinking maybe some bits of ephemera on the side there. Oh no, that's quite a nice combination. But I do like my I do like my music bits. Oh now look, you see that that looks pretty cool. Oh, yes. Yes, we're liking that. So I've dropped a photo. What's going on? Oh, yes, we're definitely liking that. See, sometimes it's just serendipity how, how things come together. We'll just glue that on there. Sorry if I keep going out of frame a bit. Because of the way the camera's set up, I'm having to sort of work a bit more at arm's length, if you know what I mean. Just look those off the back. Love that. Now, why didn't I think of that before? And then those sisters are just going to sit there. Oh, yes. I love it when a plan comes together. Or rather a plan that you haven't planned comes together. There is always a plan B. Plan A might not work out. There is always plan B. Oh, yes. That's just so simple. Just such a simple arrangement with the music down the side. Loving that. So that goes on, on the pile. And then with this one. And I'm thinking. This little lady on here somewhere. Maybe, maybe more music down there. Yeah, let's put some music down there as well. Now, I haven't quite 
anticipated need in my music. Or perhaps, perhaps that. Definitely needs music. I like I like the um, black and white. We'll just pause while we find music. Okay, so here we are again. We've found music. I'm sorry for all the uh, comings and goings. Um, and I've realised actually that I don't have a lot of music left. So I'm going to have to remedy that and look out for some more. So we'll just tear a snippet off there. of those scraps and I want this to stand out against the background so this definitely needs darkened edges I also need a new stamp pad because that's wearing out as well. Why is it everything wears out at once? Or runs out at once? Just stick that there. There we go, liking that. I do love making tags. It's one of my most favourite things. I love I love other things about making journal. That's come undone a bit. I love making the fabric covers, for instance. Uh, well, I like I like everything about making journals. I've always loved paper crafts all all my life, right from being a kid. But I do very much like making the tag part of the journal. Okay, so where did I decide that was going? There, nope, there. Oh, procrastination. That just looks a bit odd. Right, we'll go for this. I love how a lot of these old photos are sort of like all cut up and weird and gnarly. I was really lucky to get um, a nice little bundle of these on eBay just recently. I've I've been very lucky with eBay just recently, actually. I've had some wonderful things. And not had to spend a lot of money to get them either, which I've been quite quite surprised at. There we go, and I'm actually going to let that gnarly bit hang off the end. Can you see? Oh yeah. Love those. Really love those. 
Right, so let's just have a little bit of a tidy up, pop everything to one side. We have a cat rustling around in the studio. Okay, so I want to add some of this gorgeous embroidery. I like that. That's nice. Uh, we're not going to think about it too much. We're just going to go for that. So the only thing you have to remember is when you're using these is just be a bit careful where you're cutting because you don't want the embroidery unravelling. So don't cut too close to the embroidered bit. I love these um, pearls. They're actually really sort of sturdy. Um, they're actually kind of like riveted on. You might be able to see the little rivets there. Oh yeah, just look at that. That's gorgeous. Right, so we'll pop that on. Just pop a bit of fabric tech on. There we go. That's that one done. We'll do the same for this one. Maybe there or Actually, I quite like that. Can you hear the cogs whirring? <laughs> Can you hear me thinking? <laughs> right, just just go for it, Tanya. Just glue it down and get on with it. I do annoy myself at times with my procrastination. That looks lovely. I really like that. I'll just trim some bits off there. Trim that bit as well. 
Oh, yes. That looks so lovely. I'm really, really pleased with how these have turned out. They're just gorgeous. I love that. Right, so that's those two done. And then we'll just need to figure out something for these. Um, I, I might just stick to the same elements, to be honest. Oh, I like that bit there, look. Oops. I quite often make just a whole bunch of tags on the same theme. Oh, yes, I like that. That is nice. We'll go for that. I think this journal that I'm working on is going to be full of people. Lots of photographs, I think. I just absolutely love old photographs is that going to stick oh yeah super pleased with that it's got a little bit of glue there really pleased with that How about you? What are you what are your favourite crafty bits to do? What's your favourite part of making journals or tags and things? Yeah, love that. See how these are just all working together. I like I like a theme. I like a bit of a theme with my tags for the journals. Right, last two. Maybe I ought to stop gabbing. Right, so this lady here. We've actually not got a lot of colour on there. I'm, right, I'm going to leave that to one side. Well, I think... And then maybe we'll have a similar style to that little girl. I like that snippet there. This is what I love about these fabrics because there's so many different snippets you can use. I am actually thinking of putting pieces of this in my shop too. Like that. Sorry, I'm off, off camera, but I'm only gluing. <laughs> You're not missing much. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure whether that one will stay on. It's, it's little rivet is just on the edge of the piece of net. So I'm not sure whether that will actually stay stay on we'll, we'll see and you know i don't think we're going to trim that off so much i think we're just going to slide around the edge of that little piece there
Oh, yes. Oh, so pretty. Right, that's another one down. And then we've just got this last one to do. Um, and the light's going a bit weird. It's sorry, it's it's quite dark. It's quite dark. We had um really horrendous rain. Um, oh, about seven o'clock this morning. It absolutely siled it down. Oh, I like that. rain was so heavy we almost didn't realize it was rain at first because it was so loud oh yes i like that and i quite like how that net just covers over there so i shall leave that in place Oh, I really hate getting glue on my hands. Really hate it. Occupational hazard though when you're doing this kind of thing. I don't know if... Uh, the camera's picking up the sound of tree cutting. We've had days and days of tree cutting. Of course, it's the season for it. Although, you know, I really hope they're watching out for birds' nests. The neighbours across the road have had um, trees cut down. I think just about everybody on our street is having trees cut cut down and it seems to have been non-stop tree cutting noises for days there we go look at that right so let's recap so this this is what we've what we've got Just loving this little collection here. Particularly love these two. Love the music strips down the side. Now, I could leave them just like that. Um, they look fine, I guess. I feel like there's just something else a little bit extra that I'd like to put on. So I'm just going to have a route around my stash and see what I've got. Um, so I shall be back in a minute. OK, so I had a little look around my stash and I, w I want to do um, some paper clips with lace and uh, tickets and stamps and things and it's inspired by um, a little craft with me video that um, Heather from Ruby and Pearl did um, so I just want to attach some scraps of lace to these um, and I'm just going to tear off some pieces of lace and um, use paper clips and I'm, I'm just using these nice little rose gold um, paper clips 
Um, so I've got some I've got some bits of lace. This is um, an antique lace collar that I've been using scraps of. Um, another antique lace collar. I think I think that might be all I've got left of that one. And then this is a, another um, collar as well, and a scrap of a collar. This is this is the rest of it. It's just lovely. You can see that's still got a little linen button attached. Um, and then recently, one of my friends went to a scrap or scrap store. Sorry, local to her, and got this amazing piece of lace. Now I'm not sure how old this is, but it it looks like it has some age to it, and. She got me like a whole roll of the stuff, so you'll you'll be seeing a lot of this lace <laughs> in my journals. Um, so, and then what I've done is I've I've picked out some bits and pieces. So, I've for these for these two large ones here, I've picked out um some Romanian stamps. I love these because they've they've got kind of a a vintage look to them. I'm not sure how old they are. Um and I love the love the little birds. So so they're going on those too. And then there's a little uh drugstore label I think there. So so that's going to that's going to be clipped on there. Um I've got a little Russian um bus ticket and a little British um, bus ticket there, vintage bus, bus ticket. And I, I like that because it just adds a bit of colour to um, a tag that's otherwise really not got a lot of colour to it. I might actually stick a stamp or something there as well just to sort of fill in this gap here. So. It's like super easy to make the the tags. In fact, I might I might pop that one there. So it's like just some little scraps of lace. I'm just gonna give that a bit of a rip like that. And I might add a, a little snippet of this of this lace too. Just some just some little gnarly bits. Excuse me, bit of a sneeze there. And then, so really all I'm going to do is attach this like this. Put that on there, bit of a gnarly bit hanging off. And there you have it, just a little bit of perhaps I'm not too happy with that arrangement. Let's try that one again.
Oh yes. I like that. Just thread that through the top of the paper clip. It's kind of like a little bow. Oh, really liking those. Really liking those. Love those. And so simple, just, you know, adding a bit of a ticket or a stamp, it just that added a bit of interest. Okay, so moving swiftly on. Feels kind of almost blasphemous <laughs> ripping up antique lace. <laughs> I hope I don't get um, struck by lightning by the by the gods of ancient textiles. Oops! Come on! You're going on there, whether you like it or not. That's better. Two more to go. Um, I think we might have a bit of a bit of this. I do like the contrast between the white and the um, older sort of beige lace. This is just such a, a simple idea, but it just adds, you know, that lovely bit of texture and Just super simple. And then the last one, and we're almost done. of this scrap. And of course you could always just glue the um, ticket down if you wanted or exchange it for something else at, at another time. But yeah. Really loving how these have turned out. Love those. Absolutely love them. So there you have it. Today's uh, not so quick crafting. Um, like I say, I'm not the world's fastest, but I just really love how these have turned out. And uh, hope you'll be inspired to have a go yourself.
lovely excellent so thank you so much for staying with me and watching <laughs> hope you've enjoyed this this little crafting video um and i'll see you again soon take care have a lovely day bye